I'd like to call the order of the meeting of the Village Board for May 14th, 2024. Would you please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? President D. Simone? Here. Trustee Carmona? Here. Trustee Franz? Here. Trustee Fry? Here. Trustee Lomax? Here. Trustee Penicola? Here. Trustee Perez? Here. That's seven. At this time, we will move to public comment. Does anyone wish to address the board? If so, please approach the podium and state your name. Seeing none, this will conclude public comment. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from the April 23rd, 2024 <coughs> board meeting? We have so a moved. motion. Is there a second? Second. second. Are there any modifications to the minutes? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries and minutes are approved. The next item of business is to approve the warrant in the amount of $2,330,983. Is there a motion to approve this warrant? You have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any discussions on the warrant? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries and the warrant is approved. Are there any items on the consent agenda? There are no items on the consent agenda. Under administration, we have a resolution approving the village president's appointment of John Sammy as trustee to the board of trustees of the Bentonville Fire Protection District Number Two. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have second. a second. Being a motion and a second, do we have discussion? Your Honor, the Bentonville Fire Protection District Number Two has historically been a three-person board. Recently, the board expanded to five members in order to incorporate more residents on the board. Um, you have presented these two uh, candidates for appointment, and we are seeking the advice and consent for both of the candidates to expand the board and fill the vacancies. Thank you. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. <clears throat> Motion carries and the resolution is approved. Two is a resolution appro approving the village president's Appointment of Jack Alden as trustee to the Board of Trustees of the Bentonville Fire Protection District Number Two. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. Of a second. 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 Being a motion, a second. Discussion. I second. failed to mention that the fire chief, as well as current members of the fire board, are in the audience this evening. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you. Any other questions from our board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona. Yes. Trustee Franz. Yes. Trustee Fry. Yes. Trustee Lomax. Yes. Trustee Penicola. Yes. Trustee Perez. Yes. That's six. Motion carries and the res resolution is approved. Congratulations, gentlemen. Uh, under finances, the ordinance abating the tax heretofore levied for the year 2024 to pay debt service on general obligation bonds, alternative revenue sources of the village of Bentonville counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. Do have a second? Second. Being a motion, a second. Do we have discussion? Thank you, Your Honor. This is in relation to the most recent bond refunding that the village did in 2023. Um, there are two ordinances tied to this agenda item, um, as it is the same bond. Uh, one item is a traditional abatement, which ensures that the village property tax dollars are not necessary to pay this, and that we have alternate revenues, in this case the SSA, that will pay for the um, bond's principal interest. The second one is the uh, ordinance that sets the correct SSA levy within the SSA itself. Any questions from our board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries and ordinance is passed. Two is an ordinance partially abating the tax here to four levy for the year 2023 to pay debt service on $1,880,000 series 2023 general special service area number nine general obligation refunding bonds of the village of Pennsylvania counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Being a motion a second, do we have discussion? I just want to point out the abatement ordinances will be filed with both Cook and DuPage counties. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? <coughs> yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Under Public Works, we have a proclamation designating the week of May 19th through the 25th, 2024, National Public Works Week in the village of Bentonville, Illinois. 
Is there a motion in support of the proclamation? Yeah, yeah. motion. Do I have a second on the second. motion? I have a second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Joe? Joe? No, we're just happy to uh, acknowledge our Public Works employees for the week and our National Public Works uh, Association's uh, week. Thank you. Uh, please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? <clears throat> yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. <laughs> Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's it. Motion carries. Two is an ordinance designated certain property as surplus and authorizing the disposition of the same. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. Have a second. Second. Being a motion and a second, do we have a discussion? Yeah, so the village routinely declares <coughs> surplus materials uh, assets as surplus and if they're no longer needed for any of our uses. Uh, before you tonight are three vehicles and 12 pieces of outdated technology that we are looking to surplus and is no longer needed. Ordinance declares these and instructs staff to dispose of them in the most economical and environmentally friendly way. So staff does recommend approval. Any questions from our board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? <clears throat> yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Three is a resolution authorizing the execution of a contract with Premistar Mechanical <coughs> Services for repairs of a compressor and compressor motor mount at Saint, uh, at John Street Ice Arena in the not to exceed amount of $42,900. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Being a motion and this uh, second, do we have discussion? Yeah, so each summer the village takes down the ice over at John Street Ice Arena for some routine maintenance. Um, this year we've been struggling with some leaks in our floor system. Uh, as we started to look at some of the components and the compressors, we found that one of our com uh, compressors has a leak uh, in its drive crankshaft. Um, so we are looking to do a repair on this so that we can get the ice back up and, and working properly for the next season. Um, we asked Primastar to take a look at this and provide us with a proposal. Their proposal came in at $42,900. This is going to replace the crankshaft, replace the motor mounts, and also do a rebuild of the compressor. So staff does recommend approval. <coughs> Any questions from our board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion. Six. Five. Six. Six. <laughs> motion carries and the resolution is approved. Four is a resolution authorizing the execution of a contract with water well solutions for the emergency repair of a pump and motor at the Foster Pump Station in the not to exceed amount of $28,990. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Being a motion and a second, do we have discussion? Yeah, so the main pump that moves water in and out of our 750,000 gallon above ground storage tank at our foster plant uh, has been experiencing some leaks over the last few months. We had a company called Waterwell Solutions come out, dismantle the pump and the motor, take a look at it, inspect it back at their shop. Uh, they did find that both pieces of equipment do need some repairs to them to, in order to get them up functioning properly. Um, based on the evaluation, the motor needs new bearing assembly. Uh, and the pump is going to need new seals and new bearings. So the cost to do this repair is $28,990, is a critical component in our water distribution system, so it's staff's recommendation to approve. Any other questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee <clears throat> Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries the resolution is approved. Five is a resolution authorizing the execution of a contract with Andrew McCann, Lawn Sprinkler Company, for the expansion to the existing irrigation system at Village Hall in the not to exceed amount of $10,808. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. <coughs> Do I have a second? Second. second. Being a motion and a second. Discussion? Yeah, so each year the park here at Village Hall is used for music in the park, the, the Wilkes Holiday uh, display, also our um, holiday magic events. These events can really tear up our lawn out there. So every spring we're out there trying to patch, trying to resod, trying to do a lot of things. Um, we really wanted to look at putting an irrigation system at this location just to help with that restoration of the turf each spring. Uh, putting out sprinklers tends to hit or miss certain areas, so we still get the patchy areas. So we put in the budget this year $15,000 to put an irrigation system out there. We did proposals. Um, we got a lowest proposal from Andrew McCann Lawn Sprinkler Company in the amount of $10,808. So we're looking to enter into a contract with them to install the irrigation system for the lawn. Will we have any problems with the ice rink or Wilkes 
displays <laughs> being, I mean, we're going to mark it off. Yeah, it'll be marked off. They'll, they'll all be below ground and they'll pop up as needed. So but I'm just worried about him hammering some of his displays into the ground. We'll be fine. Okay. Any questions from the board? I just, I had one question. This, <laughs> have you ever looked at putting artificial turf down in that area since we're always re replacing grass uh, every year over there? Is that not a feasible idea? <laughs> it was brought up. No. It wasn't taken very no. seriously. I think no. I'd be, I, it's grass. It's yeah. It's a park, so mm -hmm. um, it might be better for longevity. But I don't. I think you'd lose a lot of the, the usability feel of, of the park and the music and stuff like that. Okay. And I think there's just some concern too, and we see it with our fields already. But um, cigarette burns are a real mm -hmm. thing. Um, as much as we try to control music in the park with cigars and cigarettes, it still happens. Um, and having to repair those burn marks gets costly rather mm -hmm. quickly. No, thank you. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries a resolution is approved. Six is a resolution authorizing a purchase order to First Choice Equi Equipment LLC for purchase, installation, and training of sanitary short televising camera replacement and trailer retrofit in the not to exceed amount of $93,083. Is there a motion? We have a motion. We have a second. Second. Being a motion, a second. We have discussion. Yeah, so the village maintains over 60 miles of sanitary sewer and over 80 miles of storm sewer as part of our maintenance program. This includes televising those sewers and doing inspections of them. We do that via a kind of robotic camera that we stick down into our sewer system. It takes video of our uh, sewers and we can create reports on conditions and things of that nature. The one thing I, I love doing with this camera is when I can find somebody's sanitary sewer service that comes in that has a, a, a problem or roots. This allows us to actually reach out to those residents and let them know that they have issues before they can actually be, you know, huge problems in their basement. So um, we use it as preventative maintenance. We use it as a notification to our residents, things of that nature. Our existing cameras reached the end of its useful life. So we did budget $95,000 in our CIP for a new camera this year. Um, we uh, researched and evaluated four different camera systems. The IBAC camera, um, which is provided and distributed by First, sorry, First Choice Equipment LLC came in at the best price and uh, includes a retrofit of our existing trailer to house the new camera. So it's staff's recommendation to approve. Any questions from our hey, board? Just a question. Um, how often do you go in those systems to uh, monitor that type of uh, activity? We try to televise our sewers every three years. So, I mean, we're in there consistently when the camera's working and it's functioning. So we're hoping this new camera will be a little bit more reliable than our last one and, and last a little bit longer. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions? <clears throat> Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. <clears throat> Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries and the resolution is approved. Seven is a resolution authorizing the execution of a purchase order with Roche Ford for the purchase of one bucket truck in the not to exceed amount of $177,859. <clears throat> is there a motion to approve? We have a motion. motion. There was a second. 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 Being a motion, a second. Do we have discussion? So the village's uh, fleet replacement plan identifies the need to replace one of our three bucket trucks this year um, in 2024. The vehicle not, was not included in our original purchase to Roche because we were still at that point researching what type of bucket, what length of a bucket, and things of that nature. So when we purchased our Roche Ford vehicles, the 11 of them back in February, this was still one we were doing some research on. Um, we finally came up with our specifications, and as we were doing that, Roche actually contacted us and said, hey, we have something very similar to what you're looking for, and it's already in process of being built. So we took a look at their specifications. It actually was almost identical to what we were looking at. Um, it's going to be a Ford F550 chassis with a NAPI utility service body and a 39-foot, 8-inch VersaLift uh, aerial bucket boom on it. So it's already, the, the chassis's already been built. The car is, or the truck is currently at NAPI being the service body getting put on it. Uh, we anticipate that they will have the actual aerial boom put on this and delivered by September, October. Um, this is a very quick turnaround for us uh, because these vehicles are taking anywhere from a year and a half to two years to build these days. So we were fortunate enough that they just happened to have one that was very similar. It also fit within our budget. We uh, had $190,000 budgeted for this vehicle. This vehicle that's coming in is at $177,859 with government discounts. So it's staff's recommendation to approve this purchase and get that vehicle well ahead of our anticipated schedule. Any other questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. 
Trusty Franz? Yes. Trusty Fry? Yes. Trusty Lomax? Yes. Trusty Penicola? Yes. Trusty Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries resolution is approved. It is a resolution authorizing the execution of change order number one to Rocheford for the purchase of a crane truck and the not to exceed amount of $13,575 for a revised purchase order amount of $690,831. Wow. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. Do you have a second? Second. Being a motion and second questions. Just want to clarify this vehicle is not costing six hundred ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> that was um, my first recall, question. <laughs> <laughs> you recall back in February we approved our first purchase with Roche. It was for eleven different vehicles. There were three police vehicles, three public works pickup trucks, the crane truck, three code enforcement plug-in hybrids, and also an EMA transit van. Uh, so the total amount of those eleven vehicles was six hundred seventy-seven thousand dollars. So we approved a purchase order to make those orders. Most of those orders have been placed. We're still waiting on a couple of, I think our police vehicle order doesn't come up for another month or two. Um, but Roche was uh, working through the process of actually getting all of those vehicles ordered. They actually did order our crane truck uh, through the Roche, or through the Ford dealership. Um, and then about three weeks later, a truck very similar to what we ordered showed up on their lot that was canceled by another uh, person that had ordered it. Stole. So again, this vehicle, that usually going to take a year and a half to two years to build just kind of showed up. It was a little bit of an upgrade from what we were looking at getting. Um, the chassis was the same. Uh, the utility body had a few extra compartments in it. Um, and the actual crane was a little bit bigger of a crane than what we were looking to get. Instead of a seven and a half ton train, it was an eight ton train, so a crane. Bottom line, again, I got a vehicle in immediately instead of waiting a year and a half, two years. It cost me a little bit extra to do it, $13,000 and change to do it. Um, and that vehicle is actually in our lot right now. So we're looking for approval of this change order that just puts more money on the purchase order so that when the invoices come for the other 10 vehicles, there's enough there to pay for the other 10. Questions from the sense. board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries. Resolution is approved few presidential remarks. The spring community yard sale will begin on Thursday, May 30th through Sunday, June 2nd. To host the yard sale, residents must complete a yard sale application to obtain a free permit. Completed yard sale applications can be dropped off at Village Hall or emailed. Applications are available on the Village's website. Uh, to everyone's free family uh, summer concert series begins again. Music in the Park will begin this year, June 5th, with the band High Infidelity. Please note, due to downtown improvement projects, the new location is at Center and Main Street and will remain at this location for the entire series. There will be ample parking available along Railroad Avenue, Addison Center, and Main Streets. For more information, please see the Village website. That concludes President's remarks. Do we have a Village Manager's report? Thank you, Your Honor. I have two items. First off, I'd like to take the opportunity to formally introduce our new Finance Director, Lisa Banovitz. Uh, Lisa's here with us today. She comes to us with a wealth of municipal experience as well as a uh, audit experience for a, a uh, big four. Was it big four back then? Big four? That was big six. Big six then. me a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> big six auditors. Um, so uh, it's great to have her on board. This is her second week here with the village and she's hit the ground running. I do want to extend a thanks to the entire finance department staff for keeping the wheels on the bus. We've been essentially without a finance director for over a year and um, we haven't really missed a step. So I want to thank all the finance team for their uh, hard work on that. And secondly, this is a more of a just putting it on your radar. Tonight we did approve the $42,900 for the repairs at the John Street Ice Arena. Mm -hmm. It's becoming evident to us that that full sheet's gonna need to be replaced. Um, in 2017 we did both of the Jefferson uh, rinks. Um, I have instructed Sean and staff to start getting quotes for an idea of what that's gonna cost. Um, it will probably be expensive, but I think we need to start having that conversation of um, is this a program that we, that we want to continue doing? I would probably argue yes. Uh, we look to come at you with more quantifiable information about the revenue the rink brings in, what's it going to cost and return on investment. So just putting it out there right now, we're going to the slow time for the uh, rink where that rink would normally be down anyways, but th just the lead time for these projects like this, it's going to be a large project that wasn't necessarily in the five year CIP. We're going to need to advance that forward. So. Um, We'll get more data to you. I just want to, as we had that item on the agenda, I just wanted to put it on your radar. So when I show up with a big ticket, you guys don't yell at me and say, Evan, where did this come from? That concludes my report, Mr. President.
Village Attorney Report. I have no report, Mr. President. Is there any unfinished business to come before the board tonight? We have none. Is there any new business to come before the board tonight? Seeing none. Need for executive session? There is no need, Mr. President. Is there a motion to adjourn? You have yep. a motion. Do I have a second? Second. second. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.